Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to be doing a detailed flip through of the setup in this Hobonichi Weeks Planner. This will be my everyday planner for 2021 and I did recently upload my 2021 um, planner lineup. So if you are wanting to see what other planners I have set up for next year, I will go ahead and put a link in the description to that video. So this is a Hobonichi Weeks cover that I purchased from an Etsy shop called Asian Vintage and you can see they have their logo right there. This is not real leather. Um, it is quite smooth but nothing too extravagant and you'll see it has a moon there, some stars, um, north, south, east, and west. So I did get it in this very neutral um, color. Once you open it up on the left hand side, you have your secretarial, secretarial pocket, a pocket here, a zipper pocket, another pocket in here. There's two strings there and then another long pocket here and then you have three card slots and a pen loop so I will continue to use the words um, Hobonichi Weeks however I'm not using the actual Hobonichi Weeks planner I am using a Fobonichi Weeks which is a cheaper alternative to the Hobonichi Weeks okay so um, as usual I will put a link in the description to all of the stickers, dashboards, die cuts, etc., for you guys to check out. Here I just have this little coffee cup post it. Um, this came in one of the Happy Planner sticker books that I purchased. I don't remember which one. This little die cut came from Wawa Stationery, along with this. This was also Wawa Stationery. Um, that is one of my favorite shops on SD. They are on the East Coast. And they're pretty like if you're looking for more of the traditional traveler's notebook type stuff or like something with the vintage feel to it then you will probably enjoy that shop um, the shipping is really quick every time I order um, I'm on the West Coast and they're on the East Coast and I get my shipping within like two to three days so the shipping is pretty fast as well um, this paper clip here was I think it was a pack of four that I got from Hobby Lobby back when I used to shop there. I did give the each car each paper clip had a different girl on it, and I think I gave the other three away and kept that one. And then this little die cut here I got from an Etsy shop called Sandy Planner Boutique. Then I have my first dashboard. So the first thing I have here is the Traveler's Notebook insert and I have the dashboard um, which is a printable from the planner shack so I absolutely love printables um, they're just so convenient you don't have to worry about shipping or going to the store and you can just reuse it over and over again and print them in different sizes so I love the um, printable printable anything printable stickers dashboards etc so here I have this little postcard and this came with this was in a Wawa stationery um, store as well. I got just like a big bag full of just um, a lot of vintage looking um, stuff. And then this is a printable as well. I got this from a store called, what was it? Um, Ellen's Papers. And on her website, you can get like 12... I think 12 sheets they print out eight and a half by 11 um of just different designs and i think i got this for like a dollar and some change probably like two dollars and i just printed it on the vellum paper but this is just a design the whole sheet is the one design this sticker is from the wawa 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 stationery and then you have the back side of the vellum and then all of this again is from Wawa stationery with the exception of this girl this girl here I got from that was a leftover from the planner shack from one of their um, weekly or maybe monthly kits and then on the 
outside of the actual Hobonichi Weeks. Again, it's a printable from Ellen's Papers. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what is actually inside my Traveler's Notebook. And I did tabs for the first time. I've never done tabs before. I'm trying something a little different. Um, so the first tab says doctors. And when you open it, I just have this sh uh, sheet here where I will put down everyone's doctor's information, um, address, phone numbers, um, etc. And then I have my annual to-do list. So this is where I keep track of things that need to be done, um, not on a weekly basis, not on a monthly basis, but either on a yearly basis or like a every a quarterly um, basis. So I have my HOA schedule um, for my home owners association. And I think it's like every four months I have to check last year's calendar, but I think it's every four months um, a payment comes out. So I usually put the month that is due and then the amount um we have a water system in our house which acts as a water um, softener and it purifies the water so we have to make sure that the salt in the tanks are kept up so i will also go ahead and put the schedule down for that here is the reminder for to replace everyone's toothbrushes which is done every three months my oil changes which is done every three to four months or however many miles and then dmv for the vehicles when they're due um, and the amount that each vehicle is due here i have my home chore list or honey do list and here i'll just put down a bunch of things that i want to um get done around the house these are projects such as um i do want to get a new tub put in um i want to change the carpet downstairs into maybe some type of linoleum or wood um so just little things that projects that we want to do around the house or things we want to buy a house i buy for the house i still want to get a coffee table so that will definitely go on this list and then here this tab says to buy and then i just did a little gift idea um sheet for my son and my daughter my husband and myself um, I did create a wish list so when birthdays and holidays comes around um, as long as it's nice to have like kind of like an ongoing list because then it's hard when trying to figure out what a person wants or what they're into trying to remember what it says what they said that they wanted I will just go ahead and um, document that um, here if I get an idea of someone just mentioned um, something that they think that they will like then it just makes when that time comes buying a gift a lot easier so those are my side tabs was who the wish list was for my someday maybe list and this is just a list of things that i would like to do um such as i'm gonna go to the grand canyon um i still haven't done that um but the things that i want to do don't necessarily have a time period so it's just kind of like a bucket list i guess my Sunday maybe list. Next up, I have birthdays, and I do have a tab that says birthday, and I'm gonna just put down immediate family and very close friends of when their birthdays are, and just kind of keep this as a master list so that way, um, in my at home planner, I can go ahead and jot down everybody's birthdays, and um, I'm hoping this way I don't actually miss anybody. Next up is my master house cleaning list, um, and this is broken down by daily, weekly, monthly, semi-annually, and annually. So this is something that I am doing um, first time. I have never tracked my YouTube um, stats, so I decided to go ahead and do that this year and just kind of track um, the progress of my YouTube channel. So I have a little icon there for my tab. And it's broken down into each month. And I think what I'm going to do each month is just track the subscribers, the views. Um, and I'm not sure what else other than that. But that is my YouTube tracker. And then here, this is something different also that I have never done before. But I had all these stickers left over from some Happy Planner stickers. And some of them are printable that I printed out and I just never used. So I am really trying to... Um, shop my stash in 2021 it is my goal to not um buy any other planner related stuff 
for the year of 2021, anything that I buy will need to be for 2022. Um, gosh, that seems so far away. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try not to buy anything until this time next year to start stacking up for the following year. So here, I'm just going to put, I didn't even like count out all my bills and I just stuck all of them that I had down on, um, this just so I can use them and then I'll go in later and put the monthly bills here and then here I decided to um, keep track of all the pay days my pay schedule the days off um, such as like the holidays you know Christmas just keep track of that and then um, any school holidays will go here and then just more bill tracking on this side so that was all that I did for this traveler's notebook. I think in the back I'm going to just do like maybe a brain dump or um, notes or to-do or something like that. And I haven't decided if I was actually going to use or keep this traveler's notebook in this planner um, on a regular basis. It may come in and out because I'm just not sure if it's something that I need to have in my everyday carry. Um, I think some of the information would be good to have on hand at all times but yeah I'm not really sure I'm gonna try it first with this uh insert in it along with the Hobonichi Weeks so a little bit about the Hobonichi Weeks as I stated this is not the actual Hobonichi Weeks this is an alternative um Hobonichi, Hobonichi Weeks planner uh can't talk um it is called, I believe it's actually called Weekly, and I got this off of Amazon, and the setup is very similar. Sorry about the glare. The setup is very similar to the Hobonichi Weeks. So inside, I did go ahead and decide to do that washi tape dashboard that was so popular a couple years ago. Um, I had tried some other dashboards, and like, I didn't really like it, so um, I did the washi tape because I just like just all the pop of color and I, I think it looked a lot better than what I had in it previously. I did my own year of the uh, a glance. This is a undated planner. And then again, I did tabs here, which was new. I've never put tabs. This is the first planner where I actually put tabs in. So um, they don't look great, um, but they're not terrible. So I definitely learned some things um, that I will not be doing in the near future next time that I do that. So it has been a learning experience. Then I did go ahead and pre-plan all my months. So this is January. I did pop in some birthdays and holidays already. But I wanted to just have all the monthly tons done in advance. And then I will probably do weeklies um, either as the weeks go by one a week or I might just do a month at a time. So this is going to be not just my everyday carry. Um, the months are going to be really good when I'm out and about and I need to um, make plans or schedule something, any type of appointment. So that will be really good for that. But as far as the week section, that will probably most likely be work related. So I don't think I'll be showing any after the pins um, in this particular planner so i did set up the first week of january um just to kind of get a feel of kind of how i was going to use it um like i said it is going to be a work planner so i'll probably just be using monday through fridays um and then saturday and sunday i thought i can just use this section for notes or to do's um but since the first is a holiday and i don't have work that's why on this particular week um, my to-do list started on Friday instead of on Saturday, but that is pretty much it. Um, it is undated, like I said, so you just have the Monday start to the Sunday. Um, this is blank here, and then you have the grid on this side, and that is pretty much what it looks like throughout the whole thing. So all 12 months are in the front, and then... These are just the blank weeklies with the grid on the right side. There isn't much. So I know in the Hobie Nietzsche weeks, there's a bunch of, um, I think for the mega, it's like 200 and something blank pages or note pages in the back. And then the regular one has about 70, I believe, blank pages. This has none, no blank pages in the back. So if you are wanting um, something 
comparable to the Hobonichi weeks, but for, you know, planning on a budget, which I am a, I plan on a budget. So, um, yeah, if you're looking for a cheaper alternative, but you want a lot of note pages in the back, then this is not going to be it for you. I do know in AliExpress, um, they have their alternatives to the Hobonichi weeks and they actually have a lot more pages. Um, yeah, this has absolutely nothing. I think the other ones at least have 20. The ones from AliExpress at least have 20 blank pages or note pages in the back, but that is it. Um, I chose to go very minimum with the monthly. Um, I just use stamps, my stamping kit, to do the month on each side. And then this is just washi tape. And I just took a highlighter that I thought coordinated with the color of this month to highlight the handwritten numbers in. But that is pretty much it. The only thing um, else that I haven't showed you was this um, pencil board. I did not do the best job of making this. I might actually go ahead and remake it. Um, this is a printable from an Etsy shop called... Oh, you know what? This one is Ellen Papers. This one is Digital Curl. So that's where I got, I think, this from. And I think this one was from Ellie's Papers. Um, and it was a set of, like, nine dashboards for $4. And these are printable as well. And I just added some washi tape on the top and the bottom. Um, but I faux laminated it. And I just, I didn't get all the air bubbles out, which might drive me crazy. But that is going to be my dash, my pencil board. I do really like using pencil boards and my planners. And I'm actually thinking about making one for all my planners, even my recollections planner, which is my at home planner. Um, I just like having that hard extraness like underneath when I'm writing because I guess I do tend to press really hard and I don't have to worry about the indentation so um yeah I think I'm gonna make more of that but that is it guys that is what my everyday carry for 2021 looks like I will keep you guys updated on this process um whenever I change it out or anything that's new with it um I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and happy planning